night 15 recap of the 2022 Extreme Panzer Leader board game. As we can see on the board, the cities, the turn number, not much has changed in terms of city count, but the kills and the kill points continue to rise for the countries involved in war. Uh, we've gone through turn 97. So I'll talk a little bit about how to read this board. Basically over here on the left, we have the countries as well as the name of the person who owns these countries on the left side of that. So we have 12 countries with six players. So each player has been given two countries and the turn sequence in which they're listed is completely random, determined at the start of the game. And then these are the city numbers, so the number of cities that they own on board. And each city hex correlates to two points a turn, so that's pretty easy to follow there. This is the points that people have saved up in the bank that they can use to purchase development or uh, more units. And then finally we have kills and kill points. So kills are just each unit killed and then kill points corresponds to uh, basically the total statistic number of the unit divided by 10. So better units give more kill points. And then here are some of the consumables. Some of the consumables we had were uh, basically increasing the number of minutes in your turn that you're about to have, as well as some automatic unlocks for categories. Let's look at the time the countries have in the bank. Seen here at this bottom row, the number all the way to the right corresponds to how many minutes and then seconds each country has to be able to use on their next turn. So now that's out of the way, let's take a look at the board. Not much changing here on the north. The Jordanians are semi-assaulting this city. I would consider it more of a smaller uh, territorial assault type of action, just small term gain. We can see Vishgorod and these farms that the Americans had breached into earlier on are still in nonstop contention, so not much changing here, just some Jordanian tanks finally getting involved. So it'll be interesting to see how those are used to help to take those farms back. The major changes happened here in Masada. Uh, we saw the Jordanians and the Italians get involved in taking defense of the city on the side of the Japanese against these German tanks. As we can see a large difference in power between the German tanks and the Italian and Jordanian tanks. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out as well as the support of the American gunfire and how that becomes effective in that battle. As we move more south, we see the Germans have built a stone wall of their Panthers in order to stop any French, Polish, or Russian movement in the area. As we can see, a large number of tanks building up on the sidelines, preparing to formulate an assault, but being stopped by this firing squad of German tanks. We also saw German tanks start to push finish off of the hilltop here and regaining some of their land but they did push most of their tanks towards this American city, which is now under complete assault from Finland and will likely fall soon. Finland has yet to relaunch an attack on this city here as there are American firing squad tanks there, as well as Germans in the area able to assist at a moment's notice. So it'll be interesting to see if they assault this city and how they go about doing it. Not much changing in the south as these homelands are pretty secure. The Finnish and then the French homeland. As well as some Polish cities here that the French had given to them to help revive their country. We did see the Arabs start to snake their tank army closer towards the north where they might build a line of secondary defense in case of failure on the front line. In the desert, we see continued growth by the Italians as the Jordanians and Israeli player basically forged an alliance by giving up cities to the rest of the players to help fend off against the player playing the Americans and the Germans. 
So as you can see, this city is very important to this to these cities here. So it'll be interesting to see the level of defense given as well as how uh, the German player goes about taking it. As we continue north, we see the Jordanian and Israeli player continuing to build out their homeland and making it very difficult to attack into, as well as selling, sending out tank probes to force players to uh, respond to them and use up some of their precious time. So that's it for the on the board stuff. Let's take a look at the uh, future expansion as, and get a progress update on how that's been developing. So as we can see here, this is basically the groundworks for the new map that will span this whole area. So here's some of the maps that will be used. It will be an island, so there will need to be water surrounding it. So it'll be interesting to see how this gets built over time. And so that's it. Thank you for everybody who's watched so far this year. It is the end of the year and the last recap of the year. We will be continuing to play in the next year and hopefully for years beyond that. But this game on the board itself might go on for a while. So we'll continue to recap and keep you guys updated on what's going on in this game until the very end. Thanks for watching.